Hey everybody, KC here. So you may have seen this story about three changes that are being made in Major League Baseball for the 2023 season. One is the fact that they're going to put a pitch clock into effect. So if a pitcher has, there's nobody on base, pitcher basically has 15 seconds uh, in between pitches to throw his next pitch. Uh, if some, there's a runner on base, he gets 20 seconds. Uh, there's going to be, they're going to make them larger bases instead of being 15 inches square. They're going to be 18 inches square. The idea is to make it safer because, you know, sometimes you can have collisions at, at, uh, at first, second or third base. And then the other one is that they're going to ban the shift. Now, I have to say, I have, no, I have no real problem with the idea of a pitch clock. If it moves the game along, that's fine. I'm not particularly bothered by the length of games, but I understand that it's an issue. So I think it's fine that they're going to do that. Larger bases, no problem with that at all. But here's the deal. This whole ban in the shift thing sort of bothers me because I think it's a rule that they didn't actually need. Now, you, for those of you who don't watch baseball, a shift is when you normally you have two, um, two infielders on the left side of the infield, left to second base, two infielders to the right of second base. A shift is when the statistics show that a player always hits, uh, almost always hits it in one direction. So you move all of the infielders onto that side of the field. And uh, the shift is prevalent, and it's a total pain in the neck, and, uh, and very often it works. But my feeling is, you know, something you don't have to actually um, have a rule banning the shift. If you could teach players that if they're all on the, um, on the, on the, to the right of second base, just bunt it down the, uh, <laughs> down the third baseline or, or hit it into to left field, you're going to pretty much eliminate the shift pretty quickly because once they figure out, once players have figured out how to hit away from the shift, people are going to stop doing the shift, right? And, but for some reason, they think um, they need a rule. Now, to me, by the way, there's a really, this is a really good business metaphor, right? Because in business and retailing, what you want to do is you want to hit the ball where the defense is not, right? You want to go in a direction that's going to serve you uh, not in a direction that everybody's kind of, everybody's prepared for. Always do the unexpected thing. It's a really good metaphor. It's like, you don't have to ban the shift, just hit away from the shift. Now, on the subject of baseball, I have to say, I was wrong about the DH, okay? Not really wrong in the sense that I still like baseball without a DH. I really like it when pitchers hit, but you know something? The National League adopted the designated hitter. The world did not come to an end. Baseball games are still fun to watch. If Mets are going to the playoffs. You know, I was wrong about that one. I shouldn't have been quite that strident. In this case, I think I looked at it and said, but they shouldn't make the change because it's always been this way. And that's not the necessarily the best way to go. Just because something's always been a certain way doesn't mean it should always be that way. I was wrong. Now, on another sub baseball subject, I have to say, and they haven't really talked about this very much, but and this may surprise you because I'm a little bit of a traditionalist. I'm sort of intrigued by the idea that they could use technology to call balls and strikes instead of umpires. I think they have the, um, the, the, the technology that would make that possible. And I, 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 I'm wondering if they actually ought to do that, even though that would be a real move away uh, from tradition. Uh, you still, still need an umpire behind, uh, behind home plate to be able to call foul balls, things like that. You'd need them for plays at, plays at home. But maybe they don't need that umpire to call balls and strikes. And the, one of the reasons I think about this is when uh, this is content guy and I went out to the U.S. Open, one of the things we noticed is they don't have linesmen anymore, right? It's all done by technology. If a ball hits the line, it's in. If a ball's outside the line, it's out. Technology tells them. And the thing is, it eliminates arguments. It eliminates all the discussion about it because... When the, it used to be when players like a McEnroe thought that the, the, um, the umpire got it wrong and the linesman got it wrong, they would appeal to the technology. But if you go to the technology first, well, you know something? You have nothing really to argue about. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I'm sort of intrigued by the idea that this is a case where technology might actually do it better than the person. And we have to be open to that possibility because, you know, just because we've always had umpires calling balls and strikes doesn't necessarily mean we should have umpires calling balls and strikes. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. I hope you have a great weekend. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.